10. Eshu and Death There was one being who did not fear Eshu. He was Iku, or Death. Iku heard the things Eshu did to harass people. He asked, Why does no one reprimand Eshu? Why is he allowed to go unpunished? People answered, always in the same way, Why, who is brash enough to to berate him? It would only bring disaster. Iku said, Very well, then it is I, Death, who must deal with Eshu. Iku sent a message throughout the land of the Yorubas, announcing that he would meet Eshu in battle. When Eshu heard of the challenge, he said, I am not afraid of Iku. Let us meet, let us fight. He went to Oran Mila, his friend, saying, Death wishes to fight me to find out which one of us is the stronger. Oran Mila replied, Who can fight Death? Eshu answered angrily. He said, Who can fight Eshu? Arrange the matter for me. We shall meet, we shall fight, I will destroy him. So Oran Mila arranged for the combat. The day of the battle arrived, Iku came with his retinue of singers and drummers, Eshu came with his retinue of singers and drummers. People came from everywhere to see the battle, and the crowd stretched from the marketplace to the outer edges of the town. Eshu went forward, brandishing his great war club. He sang out words of contempt for Iku. Iku's father will have no son, Iku's sons will have no father. Iku's wife will have no husband. How foolish of Iku. Eshu's singers and drummers took up the song. The excitement was great. And then Iku advanced, holding his sword and shield. He sang, Where is the family of Eshu that will bury him? Who will wash his body and prepare it for burial? Who will sit with the body until it enters the grave? Who will place his drinking cup on top when the grave has been filled? Let them gather quickly. Iku's singers and drummers took up the song. The noise in the marketplace was deafening. And then the two fighters came together. The struggle began. The dust stirred up by their feet rose and hung like a dark cloud in the air. Eshu struck with his club again and again, but Iku was swift and agile. Not once did Eshu's club touch him. Eshu struck mighty blows. When his club hit the earth, there was a sound of thunder. His club made the sound of wind as it went through the air. At last, Iku seized Eshu. He threw him to the ground and wrested the club from his hand. He raised the club over Eshu to kill him. There were cries of alarm in the crowd, and Oran Mila ran forward and took the club away from Iku, saving his friend from destruction. And so it was that although Eshu was defeated by Eku, he did not die but lived on. And so it came about also that men said, One cannot take life away from death.